or listening this is LPU geek spotlight um and we are here to talk about this game's called murder with our writer director producer adam sherman actress natasha henstridge and we're talking to vanessa morano so um <laughs> um first of all adam i feel like we're gonna need to have a longer conversation about your thought process and and this <laughs> this movie uh, I was, watching, I was screening the movie and, um, and my wife walked in on a certain part, like uh, I think when all the people were standing in a circle and, and she's like, what the F is, is happening? <laughs> uh, the, the, the part with that, uh, with Ron Perlman in the, uh, in the green screen with the people standing in a circle. Uh, and then so she just kind of walked in on it and I was like, oh, uh, leaving for work. And I was like, um, I don't know how to explain this right now, so. um, but I, I really, uh, I really had fun watching the film. Um, what I want to ask is, uh, you know, what was uh, what was the thought going into writing this film? Uh, where did it where did it come from? Where the idea? Oh, uh, I guess uh, you know it started out with. Um, my, my original, the seed of the idea was that I wanted to express corruption in the fashion industry. Then, um, but then from there, it just went out into my like life and had nothing to do with the fashion industry. But then from there, I was like, well, I can't just write about my life. I've got to turn this into some kind of crazy comic book. So I like started out with corruption in the fashion industry it was like dirty and weird. Then I like started just writing about my own life. Then I was like, wait, this is like dirty and weird and then just boring. And then so I like kind of turned it into a little comic book, wrapped it up in a package and blammo, there you go. Say, so, wait a minute, this is about your life. I knew. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> yeah, exactly what I just said, say. So. Adam's where, just, are the, where are the bodies hiding? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <The closet>. um, <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was really a centric uh, film. Uh, Natasha, your part in this film uh, was, I was really intrigued by your character in this movie. Um, the, the kind of, uh, uh, you know, the personality thing going uh, back and forth with, um, these things that like you're kind of telling yourself about things that are going on with these people. Um, but one of the, the funny things I thought was that there was a sword in here and, and, <laughs> and these two, situa two situations where this sword comes out and I'm, I'm like, okay, so that's uh, like a weapon of choice. Um, but she was like so excited to be killing people. And um, so uh, how did you uh, channel this particular character uh, what do you think about it when you read about for this character for this in the script well I, I when I when I read when I read the script I thought this is on like I'm a, I'm a big like David Lynch fan and for some for some reason for me it had like a whiff of Lynchianism <laughs> and and I thought it was so intriguing and bizarre and I liked kind of the undertones of what I was getting from the script and obviously that sort of heightened reality aspect of it, I thought well, this is gonna be a really fun one to play with, to be able to go all sorts of different places. And then somebody brings you back. It's almost theatrical. It's almost, you know, it's almost like doing theater and in some, in some ways of which I've done very little, but, but just the idea of projecting, being big, being bold, getting out there and doing stuff. And honestly, to be honest, I'm, I'm learning a little bit more about some of the details because you find everything's interpretation, right? I'm finding more about 
the details of what was coming from Adam's mind in some of these interviews today, even because like, like any art where, when something's sort of abstract and this feels kind of abstract um, to me. And I think that's, there's so much room for interpretation. And so it's really interesting actually to listen to Vanessa today and listen to Adam today and their take and their interpretation of things. So I'm, I'm learning a lot from that. For me, it was like, all right, I'm jumping on this train and here we go. And I don't know where it's really going to end up or where it's heading, but it's going to be a, going to be a fun ride. So for me, I just thought it would be a fun ride. And I liked those things. And I'd seen Adam's films before and loved them. So I was, I was thrilled to be, to be a part of it. It's, it seemed like he had a lot of fun. Um, I did enjoy watching your character on, on, in, in this film. I thought you did a really great job with her. Um, and <laughs> Vanessa, your character is kind of like the epitome of the, the rebel child uh, on like a level <laughs> 9,000 <Yeah>. in this, <laughs> this movie. Uh, tell me what you thought about your character and, um, and uh, is there, are there any, uh, you know, moods or, or, or things that you can relate to with this character? I mean, I think we can all relate to family struggles. Uh, Jennifer's are a tad bit more unique, <laughs> it seems. Um, what I love so much about it is, you know, Adam has said previously that it was somewhere between a comic book and a fairy tale. And I think that was very evident. And, and by the way, nothing in this movie is evident. It is all over the place and in your face and symbolism every single which way you look and things that don't make sense and continuations of like craziness. But the through line really was this sort of like heroin doe-eyed walking through a world and like the flip of that, which is like she takes complete control of the narrative by the end of it. Right, she's just walking through and placed and seemingly having no control. And by the end of this film has complete control over the whole situation. And so that's always interesting to play just as an actor to find that balance. But as a character, I, I, I said it before, I, I think she's somewhere between a Disney princess and Norma Desmond from Sunset Boulevard. Those are the, 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 the marriage of two thoughts I was thinking while shooting. <laughs> Uh, this film, uh, when it gets out to the world and you want everyone to see it after they've finished seeing it and processing it, what, what do you hope that they take from this film? Ooh, Adam, I'll let you go first. I mean, um, when the film gets out into the world, uh, you know, it's a movie. It just, you know, it has its own life. It does its own thing, you know? It's like, we're done. We say goodbye. You know, maybe we loved it. Maybe we didn't love it as much or, you know, we had our experiences with it and some were great, some were less great. And the movie goes out into the world and it just bees a movie, you know? You let a movie be a movie. For, for me, I, for me it, th there's undertones from my perspective anyway. There were undertones of, you know, <clears throat> well, Vanessa says it in the trailer. It's like money, influence, you know, all of these things and what people are sort of the emphasis people are putting on social media, financial things, fame, all that kind of stuff. And it's that on steroids, right? So it's an interesting play on that for me, but like in a comedic, in, in, a, in a cartoonish type of way. So if it makes you think, and of course the ride is the ride is the ride, but if it makes you think about some of that stuff and how kind of ridiculous some of it is, it's kind of interesting too. That's what I'm yeah, garnering or gathering from it. But I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm seeing it tonight. So I don't oh. know, I'm talking out my ass here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and that's I, I hope people laugh. I really do. There's a lot of humor that we tried to infuse into this project. And for sure, there's not a doubt in my mind that people are going to walk out of the theater and go, what did I just watch? Because it's a bizarre experience. Uh, but it, it was made with a lot of humor and a lot of, of thought behind the bizarre. So I hope that that's enjoyable for people. Uh, that was a perfect statement there. There's a lot of thought behind the bizarre. Um, and they said, like, you know, putting it out there as a movie, Adam, but you can actually, the, the undertones kind of stuck out there. And um, there's some there's some deep thoughts behind the, the comedy and the bizarreness of this film. 
Uh, the film is, uh, this game's called Murder. Uh, it's out December 3rd uh, on theatrical release and on video on demand. And uh, you can catch it then. So thank you guys for coming out and uh, talking thank to you. me. Thank you so much for having us. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Sir, your talents as an artist and a designer are globally renowned. We think it's more than a good time to expand beyond only manufacturing red high-heeled women's shoes. These shoes are overwhelming the planet. Make out with me. I'll film it, post it, and tag you in it. You know, this is crazy. You could be inviting stalkers, kidnappers, creepy cyber daters. I learned this from you. My dad. He can make people do anything. He can track people's cell phones. I can see through any camera that's with internet capabilities. Why? Money, religion, world domination. If you just breathe and only have positive thoughts, the whole world will change around you. I hate you. Mom. I don't understand why we can't find her. She's constantly posting where she is and what she's doing. Don't talk, otherwise my dad will kill you. Close your eyes. Now this game is called Snafu. We're actually gonna hit up a supermarket. Can I come? Woo, this is like a movie. Your mom is about to drill a hole through a guy's head. I know, let's watch. You're even crazier than I thought. Oh, yeah. Way crazier than you thought. Why do you insist on having the entire world see you in your underwear? My fans love me. Hey there, freaks and geeks. If you like this content and would like to view more like it, please visit us on all of our social platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can also visit us on our YouTube page, forward slash UpYourGeek, and you can visit UpYourGeek.com where you can experience a new standard in geek pop culture and entertainment media because no matter what fandom you're passionate about, we have it waiting here for you. Ready, set, up your geek.